see you there. Welcome back. I'm glad you made it. So, to quickly catch you up, I did manage to lose a good portion of my footage airbrushing the first half of the ship. What we used was a simple two coat spray using Mr. Hobby's Shine Red. And if you're wondering where I got all the color schemes since I don't read Japanese, check out mech9.com, a great little site which helped me figure out the exact colors I need to get started mixing paints fast. Cuts out all the guesswork. And what's also neat, if you don't have Mr. Hobbies, down below they have a paint mixing chart. What's really neat about this site, it also includes Gundams and other model kits and of course their color schemes. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can check them out yourself. Now the finished red in my opinion came out flawlessly with no imperfections. Being that I did this under stress and footage, <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. Next, we'll be working with the model's yellow scheme, which requires about 70% yellow, a small dose of orange yellow, and 30% flat white. For the hull and other parts, we'll be mixing 40% royal light gray with 60% off white and a small, I mean very small dose of wood brown to finish off that blend. For the base and exhaust grill, I'll be finishing that off with Mr. Hobby's steel paint. Now, my trusty stallion and tool of choice is the Badger R3 Spirit Renegade Series Airbrush. God, I love this thing. Now, I've already mixed up the yellow in a separate jar. We're just gonna load this into the cup and of course apply. So grab your cup of joe, tea, juice box, or whatever it is. Channel your inner Bob Ross and come join me with these groovy tunes in the background and let's paint.
now that's so much better. As you can see, the yellow came out brilliant and evenly coated. What we'll do is we'll apply this paint once more once the first coat dries. Next up is the whole gray, white, brown mix. Now each of these mixes are thinned down with Mr. Hobby's thinner, and I use a 70 to 30 ratio when mixing the paint to thinner. And here's the finished product. The holes, of course, will also get a second coating once the initial layer dries. Next, we're gonna tackle the base and the grill. Again, we're using a simple 70 to 30 paint to thinner ratio. I'm gonna throw, of course, those two into the brush and start painting.
as you can see, the hanger has some incredible details. So we're gonna give this a top coat of royal light gray so we can see some of those darker, much richer tones pop. Now that we're finally done with all the painting, it's time for a top coat of Mr. Hobby uh, Gloss Clear. And for binding some of these parts, we're gonna be using Tamiya's Extra Thin Cement.
The details on the small craft have to be hand painted, so I apologize for the camera being off focus in some shots. Still trying to get a hang of these things. Overall, I have to admit, the three ships came out all right in my opinion. I'm not a huge fan of these colors, but for what it is, it works. These colors came out smooth, with no spots or blots or imperfections. Now on to the gloss clear coat. I'll be fitting this down with the 70-30 paint to thinner mix as well before applying. Uh, once the first coat is dried, of course, we'll give this one more top layer. Done and done. Now on to the panel lining. And for that, we'll be using Tamiya's black panel lining paint. And for cleanup, we're gonna be using AK Interactive's White Spirit and some simple cotton swabs. Now panel lining the ships gives these models more contrast and that contrast helps the models pop.
With the panel lining completely done and cleaned up, now it's time for decals. Usually this part is fun, however I've learned that these Star Blazer kits for some reason have decals that don't always play nice when they're supposed to. But hey, you make the best with the tools that you have in hand, right? And after a bit of rustling, I figured out how, how to get them on perfectly. Well all, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, you all know what to do. If you want to see more of these fantastic models being built on my channel, just make sure to slam that bell, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.